Hey guys, I'm Mikey, the plugin genius from Admix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply in play banners on moving objects. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have your scene or game open with the Admix plugin installed. So what you'll have to do is find yourself a really nice billboard where you want your in play banner to be placed in your game. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this billboard here and then I'm just going to duplicate this and then move it over to a place where I feel comfortable. So once you're basically happy with where you've placed it within your scene or game, you will now need to go and find an in-play banner using the Admix platform. You want to click on that and then click open Admix. So let's go up to create and then scroll through what type of banner or placement we want to be using for um, this environment. I think the best one that's going to be used for me is probably the 6x5 banner, uh, in-play banner. So all I'm going to do is now is click add banner and it will automatically load into your scene. So now I will need to resize and reshape the banner and the billboard so they can both fit well together. So I'm just going to, you know, do something like a little something like this. Once you're done, go into the hierarchy and find your uh, in-play banner placement and drag and drop that into the billboard so they have become one and they are attached. Then you need to go back up to the Admix tool at the top bar. You want to open up Admix, go back over to create and then click save scene. And then once you've saved your scene, you then click save placements and then Admix will do its magic and send it over to the developer platform. And then you click close and then just make sure that you save your game as well. Now what we need to do is create some code for this billboard so it's able to move. So what I'm going to do is going to go into my assets I want to right click, I'm going to go up to create and then create C sharp script. And you can name this whatever you like, but I'm going to name it moving object. So let's open up our moving object script and apply some code. So for this coding section, you want to remove everything from line 17 to line seven. So let's select those and then hit delete. Once you've done that, you want to hit tab and we're going to start applying our code. I think that's it. Save. I will leave a link downstairs of the code so you guys can go and copy this over as well if you like to. So now we need to drag and drop the moving object script that we just created or whatever you named it into the billboard. And then once you click onto your billboard and you scroll down, you'll be able to see these two empty boxes where the script has just been placed. Uh, one is called the destination spot and then one is called the origin spot. And these are the two points in which we want the billboard to move between. So what we need to do now is create two empty game objects. One which we'll call start and one which we'll call end. We're going to go up to game objects and then create empty. So what you will have to do with this first empty game object is find a place where you want your billboard to start moving. So where I want the billboard to start moving is probably about here. We can just go to our empty game objects we have here. Rename this one start. And then hit control D so we can duplicate that one and then rename this one end. And then we grab the end one and we want to move it to the destination spot where we want the billboard to move to. So where I'm going to put mine is just down over here, just before the um, arch of this banner. So now what you want to do is you want to put these, this start and end game objects that you just created into your script, which I showed you earlier. So you want to go back to your billboard over here. And then once you've clicked on it, you will see the destination spot and the origin spot. And both of them have no nothing inside those boxes. So let's place the start point in the origin spot. So you want to drag and drop that all the way into the origin spot here. That will be our beginning. So where our billboard is going to start moving from. And then you want to get your end point and you want to drag and drop that into your destination point. And that's where the billboard will end. And then once it reaches that point, it will move back to the original start point. Now we need to add some speed to our billboard. So I'm going to be using 0.05. So let's go down to speed and then click 0.05. 
Now all we have to do is click play and there we have it. Your AdMix inplay banner is on a moving billboard or platform within the environment. And I think it looks really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick video on showing you guys how to place inplay banners on moving platforms or billboards. If you want more help or have any more questions, please make sure you join our Discord with where we have a growing community of developers and our AdMix team to help you out with any question you have. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Sweet.